Hello. Uh, today, I would like to chat to you about a, quite a rare guitar. Well, they say it's rare. It's a Vox acoustic guitar. But what is it? Nobody knows. Um, the model is VR2000-OMR. So it is a, a Martin OM28 clone. Uh, uh, it was touted as a very, very rare handmade in Japan or handmade. I don't know. I, again, I'm not sure what to believe about it. it uh, it's a very well-made guitar. There's no doubt about it. Allegedly made by Takamini for Vox. Uh, no idea if it's the Vox amplifier company. If, who knows? Uh, because can't find any information about it. But what I can tell about it, um, first of all, they're very rare. Allegedly only 12 pieces made in the world. And some of them were sent to the UK. And I happened to get my hands on one. Uh, there appears to be a Dreadnought model called the DR2000 and maybe DR3000. Again, uh, saying very limited numbers, 12 in the world. Who knows if there's more released in Japan. I hope someone out there can shed some light on this thing. Um, what can I say about it? Uh, it's a good guitar. Um, right now, I have this going through uh, the same mic I'm speaking through right down here. Um, and we'll have a listen to it. Uh, it's, uh, I have it going through, um, UAD channel strip. Let's show you here. Um, that's this one here. So I have a little bit of highs boosted. Just give it a little bit of crisp high end. Mids cut a tiny bit because the very very mid four guitar. I'm not so familiar with OMs. Um, I've always had dreadnoughts. Uh, mostly D18s always find their way into my hands, so I've by default just become a mahogany acoustic guy. Um, however, I've since discovered that maple and 12 strings are, are absolutely fantastic. And I've had D28s before as well, but for some reason I just... They ended up going away, and I always mahogany's always came back into to my hands. And um, this particular guitar uh, is uh, rosewood. And just two seconds, let me get you off this screen here. So, um, so uh, pretty decent uh, quality rosewood back and sides, and uh, allegedly one piece. Uh, the guitar is made very well. Uh, ebony bridge and ebony f fingerboards. They get uh, definitely get points for that. The only thing that's letting the guitar down, as far as I'm concerned, is I'm pretty sure this is a poly finish, uh, and uh, it just it makes what could be just an amazing guitar kind of you know not a Martin. Let's put it that way. So poly finish and for some reason they didn't put a pick guard on it uh which is they seem to go through a lot of uh, effort to make a guitar where there's only 12 of them in the world designing the thing designing the headstock designing and no pick guard weird strange oversight as the other ones the other models seem to have pick guards um Again, back to the mystery. What is this thing? I don't know. It's pretty good. But the real star of this guitar um, is the pickup. The pickup is very, very good. Uh, I think it has a microphone inside. And I've been finding out because 
I don't get along with under saddle pizza under saddle pizza pickup. They just I mean they're 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 loud and powerful, but they just never sound quite right. But I'm just probably a little bit too uptight. Um, okay, so where are we at? Okay, so let, let's hear the pickup in here. Um, my mic's going to cut off, so I'll just play a little bit. Um, and you can hear the internal sound, which arguably might be better than even going through this mic. Okay, I'm switching over now. Okay, back to the mic, back to this mic now. And again, I could, this could all just be EQ'd differently and I can pull out some of the mid-range on this. Okay, and I'm just going to add a little bit of reverb in there as well. acoustic guitar um, as I said if you ask me I think the real star of this uh, guitar is the pickup uh, pickup it actually does say Vox on it and again from the information I could find it's made, made by Fishman but who knows uh, can't find anything about these guitars maybe they were only released in Japan um, other interesting things are the tuning keys. They say Vox on them, and they have these little ridges in them. They're curved forward and backwards on each side. That's probably pretty hard to see, but uh, they feel very interesting, very solid. Um, guitar's good, uh, plays fantastic. <laughs> uh, intonation's great. Um, it's like an OM, real punchy, mid rangey definitely different than a Dreadnought, but pretty good. Very, very good guitar. Um, I'm not sure what the price tag, I think they said that the list on them was 2,000 pounds, which would be about $3,000. I'm not sure if it's quite up to that level, but it's definitely a good guitar, and the fact that it's rare makes it yeah you know, it's not a martin but it's not too bad not a bad looking top on it either um and that's what i have to say about that so anybody else out there anybody else out there have any information please uh post it below um i'm sure eventually years from now someone will be looking for information on this guitar and i hope i've provided something useful but it's just so hard to find anything about them but here it is a mint condition well, i'd say pretty close to mint 
V2000-OMR. Thank you for watching.